So again, no major gambles when it comes to opening with that opening squat. You also want to get a bit of a range on where the depth is. Get the strike zone established. Uh-oh. And that, well, that could have been a misgroove. Let's see. If Again, 10 kilo jump. El Hamali hit 170, got himself on the board. Now he wants to start gaining some ground. Little bit of a dark horse. We don't get much news out of um, Libya about the lifters. I handled that well. Yeah. Maintains the speed, yeah. moving up 10 kilos, which is a sizable jump jump. I think it's a bit ambitious. I might have gone up five. Um, but as you say, if that's the way he lifts and his coach knows him better than we do. Oh, wow. Look at oh, that. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, he made it look hard for a second and then... And we're seeing more lifters come through from Libya, I think, um, and lifting at high level as well. I wonder if, you know, you have some successful lifters, um, some lifters that do quite well, get on the podium at Worlds. Do you think that drives interest in the country to, uh, for the sport? Yeah, for sure. I mean, Brett Gibbs coming from New Zealand helped popularize that. Look at a five years later, New Zealand is just stacked with killers. Same thing happened in France. Leah Bavois, Penna, no. Seven and a half kilos added to his opener. This is two and a half above his nominated bench. No, he doesn't. Maybe a little bit left. Like we said, in the squat, this is kind of how he lifts. coming back down they should yeah. grab it <laughs> it's uh that was a great effort but yeah couldn't quite the body shakes but the bar keeps moving i don't know if we're gonna see any knees knocking on an opener pretty smooth well oh, but the body was shaking oh, the body was shaking yeah that yeah, moves well At his third pull after missing in a second, very difficult to do. And Muhammad, 262.5. There's the shaking. Nope, a little too much. 